It's getting to be around the holiday times, so if you're looking to get a gift for a software engineer, a computer science major, or any other person that really likes tech or is in front of a computer a lot, here are some ideas. Also, maybe people are asking you for what you might want as a gift and you're not really sure. I'm here to hopefully give you some good ideas for that. I tried to include a bunch of different stuff from different price points. So we're gonna start off with the more less expensive items and then progressively move more expensive. I'm also not sponsored or affiliated with any of these products though I wish I was. So first up is blue light glasses, and blue light glasses really help reduce eye strain and eye fatigue when sitting in front of a screen for long periods of time. They're an absolute game changer, and I actually have a couple pairs right here. So I have these round ones, and then I have a like a darker shade also sort of round. I use them literally every day, and I actually have noticed like a pretty significant difference in my eye irritation, eye fatigue, and overall my just general mood. Like I have less headaches, I'm, I don't feel as tired, I don't feel as, you know, grumpy. And you can usually find a pair on Amazon for like 10, $20. And giving blue light glasses as a gift is like telling your friend or your family that you care about their eye health. There's nothing better than that. Next up is the wrist support mouse pad. Now, no one likes carpal tunnel, so wrist support is essential whether you're coding for six hours or playing the new World of Warcraft expansion for 12 hours. Again, you can find these on Amazon for like 10 bucks, and it's honestly just a great, you know, small gift, a stocking stuffer, whatever it may be, that ultimately just helps with productivity and, you know, wrist health. I even have a wrist support for my keyboard. This bad. Now another great small gift is a mini whiteboard. Most tech offices and classrooms have these great big, you know, whiteboards that are great for solving problems. But with everyone working from home and studying from home, most people don't have whiteboards that they can use just for like an individual debugging session and they end up just using a lot of paper. And throughout college, I even used like tons and tons of just single sheet pieces of paper that had like nonsense scribbled all over it that were pretty much only helpful in that situation, like in that specific time. And this is where small whiteboards come in. So there's a lot on Amazon for like 10 to $20 that are portable that you can give to someone so that they can, you know, trace through their code go through a debugging session, solve a math equation, and you don't have to waste a piece of paper and you can just dry erase it. If you want to show somebody something, it's really good for that too. So you can get it for a software engineer, a computer science major, and they can keep it at their desk or bring it with them in their backpack. And it's really just an overall great thing to save some paper and it just helps with Tra tracing code, debugging, all things like that. Next up is course subscriptions. And if I had a sponsor, this would be like such a smooth transition. But one really cool gift idea I think that would prove really helpful is a couple months of an e-learning site. Because essentially you're helping someone learn a new skill or pursue a passion that they've shown interest in. Now there are a lot of free classes, but sites like Masterclass, Coursera, Udemy, Skillshare, all of those sorts of sites have courses designed to teach someone a new skill. So say your friend expressed an interest in machine learning, you could buy them like a one month subscription to an e-learning site and then they can really delve deeper into that. Right now a lot of these sites probably have holiday specials so definitely go check some of those out if that sounds like an interesting gift. So along the same lines as you know course subscriptions there are also you know interview prep sites. So depending on the person that you're getting a gift for or maybe who you are and you want to receive as a gift maybe you're a new grad or uh, the person you want to give to is looking for an internship. Giving them a subscription to an interview prep site can also prove to be super helpful. I know a couple of the options are like Lead Code Premium. There is a free version of Lead Code, but I think Lead Code Premium gives you a little bit more insight into company specific questions. And then actually another tech YouTuber uh, whose name is Clement Mihalescu. He actually owns and runs a interview prep site called Algo Expert, which I actually heard is pretty good. So definitely check out those if those sound interesting. And interview prep sites like those are pretty much designed to prepare computer science students or new grads or other tech related majors for those algorithm coding system design questions that a lot of big tech companies use. So giving someone a subscription to one of these sites could really show just like your support in their job search or 
you know, that you want to help them do well. So Lead Code Premium, I think, is about $35 per month, and Algo Expert is about $74 per year. So I think another fun option is actually a tech magazine subscription. Personally, in the age of everything being digital, it's nice. I think it's nice to have something like physical to flip through. Now, you could have online subscriptions, but that's just more scrolling and, you know, blue screen stuff. So I think having like a physical copy of a magazine it's just really nice. There's something cathartic about it. These magazines will also help whoever you're giving it to keep up on the latest tech trends and programming innovations. Plus, each time they receive it, they'll think of you, so it really is kind of like a gift that keeps on giving. So some potential magazines you might want to take a look at, if that sounds like a good idea, you could look at Code Magazine, which comes in at about $30 per year, Wired, which is only about $5 for the first year, MIT Technology Review, which is $80 per year for both the digital and print options, as well as all of the other kinds of magazines out there. Another option is books. So keeping on the learning theme here, books are a great option because there's so many different kinds and you can really niche down based on the person and what they're interested in. For example, if the person seems to really like computer vision and machine learning, I've heard that O'Reilly books make a lot of great series on that, so you could opt to buy them a book. Or you could opt to get a book in a specific technology or a programming language they've been meaning to learn, and obviously depending on the book, they can range from 10 to $50. And again, that's sort of an investment in their, in their own future, you know? learning is good. Another option is branded merch. So this is specific to if you, the person who's buying the gift is works at say like a large tech company and you know that they like that specific tech company, you could buy some of your internal corporate merch. So like a Google sweatshirt or an Apple backpack or something like that. So another healthy option is a standing desk attachment. So with the growth of work from home, a lot of people are sitting a lot and just in their own homes. And a proper standing transition desk from a company like Autonomous AI can cost you know, upwards of $300, $400. But for a cheaper option you can find on Amazon, it's like a little attachment that you put on any existing desks in that it basically allows you to transition to a standing mode. And you can find these all on Amazon for around $100. I have a standing desk right now and it really, really helps my productivity and just my longevity behind the computer because, you know, we can all, only sit behind a computer screen for so long or sit for so long without getting, you know, antsy or fidgety. Um, so whenever I feel a little fidgety, I want to stretch my legs, I can shift just straight to standing mode and it really, really helps. So if you're looking for a cheaper option, buying one of those attachments is a great option. Another great productivity option is a docking station. Now I have a lot of peripherals. I have two screens, I have a keyboard, a wireless mouse, a microphone, headphones, all of those things. So those are all like plugged into my like desktop PC. But when I want to plug my, you know, say like my work laptop in, I don't want to have to like, like shift all of those USB connectors and there n might not even be enough ports on the laptop. So this is where a docking station really comes in handy. So you can basically just plug everything into the docking station. Like for me, I have a docking station mounted under my desk so I can plug everything into that. And then whenever I need to like switch something or plug something else in, I can just take that docking station and plug it directly say into the laptop or into my desktop PC or whatever it may be. You can usually find these on Amazon for about a hundred to two hundred dollars so the raspberry pi is great for tinkerers and the full kit usually costs about a hundred dollars but there are a lot of different add-ons and attachments that you can get so if you know someone that uses a raspberry pi and really likes it then you could look at attachments that might be fun to play around with and if you're not familiar with what a raspberry pi is and maybe you want to get it for someone that might be a tinkerer it's basically just a small computer that's great for like side projects that might require additional hardware, say for like a smart mirror, which was like a big trend for a while. That utilizes a Raspberry Pi, it can run its own OS. You can do a lot of cool hardware, software interaction stuff with it. And it's also great for sparking that initial interest into computer science and electrical engineering, just because you get that sort of software hardware interaction. And it's very like tangible stuff that you could do a lot of cool things with it. Another productivity increase is a portable monitor. So if you're not coding, with two monitors, we're not working with two monitors at least, you're definitely missing out 
it is a massive change in productivity. Regular monitors can be quite expensive and bulky, so portable monitors are great if you, you know, travel a lot, if the person you're buying a gift for travels a lot, if they don't have a lot of desk space, maybe they just have a laptop, because you can just basically carry the portable monitor around, plug your laptop into it, and bam. You got two screen, two screen productivity. And on Amazon, these are generally about $100 to $200. Listening to music definitely helps me get into that flow state while coding. So having a good set of wireless headphones is really, really helpful. For me, a lot of my headphones, they hurt the top of my head, like the over ear ones. They just like press too hard. They're just uncomfortable to wear. So if you're looking to buy wireless headphones for someone, or maybe that's something that you want, look for a little bit extra cushioning up here, just as a as a wise, wise advice. So wireless headphones, a good pair, generally more on the expensive side. They could be a few hundred dollars. So maybe if you wanna go in with other people on splitting that as a gift, but you know, companies like Sony, Bose, and I'm gonna plug Microsoft's Surface headphones. They can be really great. Uh, coding headphones or just general listening to music headphones. So definitely look into those if that sounds like something you'd want or someone else would want. Lastly, this is more of a personal want, is the Oculus Quest 2, which is one of the least expensive virtual reality headsets that you can actually buy. It's starting around $299, and besides the fact that you can play VR video games, and it's also completely untethered, that seems really cool. You don't have any wires. You can choose to have wires for better for performance, but you don't need the wires, that's really cool. And then also, if one of your friends or family members has been expressing interest in virtual reality, having a VR headset will actually allow them to start developing software for VR. So they could write code up, they could write a game up, and then immediately test it on their VR headset. And honestly, it just seems really cool. And I've been debating on buying one, but I'm not sure yet. Also keep in mind that these are just sort of like tech programmy computer related gifts. That's usually not somebody's entire personality, so you can also keep in mind their other hobbies too if you're struggling finding a gift for someone or if people are asking you what you might want for the holidays. But I've noticed that sometimes the best gifts are gifts that people might have not known exist or might have not have thought of and proved to be really useful or just enjoyable. And that's what I tried to convey with this list. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please comment those down below. Check out one of my past videos, my past self would thank you dearly. Check out one of my future videos and my future self would also thank you dearly. You can always count on bad British accents from your boy over here. Happy holidays, stay healthy and stay happy and hopefully I'll see you in a future one. Bye bye. <laughs>